Election day has arrived, and voters across the country are casting their ballots. But despite widespread predictions that Republicans will easily keep control of the House and could take the Senate, President Obama doesn't seem too concerned. As he or the White House or, or both of you uh, consider what life will be like with a Republican Senate? Um, not really. For quite some time I've thought that the wind was still at the backs of Democrats. They're competing in states that have really good Democratic turnout operations. But as we get closer to the election, the polls are really not breaking in Democrats' favor. So at this point, it does look like the Republicans will take over the Senate by the slimmest of majorities. Even if they do, however, things may not change much. I I think we are going to see roughly the same amount of gridlock over the next two years as over the last few, uh, because you are still going to have divided control of the government, and I'm not sure that 45 Republicans versus 52 Republicans is going to make all that much difference. There will be tremendous gridlock still, whether it is because of a Democratic filibuster or whether it's because of a presidential veto. And despite polls tilting towards the GOP, Democrats could potentially hang on to their majority. Several races are too close to call. We might not know who controls the Senate after Election Day. It might take one or two months before runoffs happen in Louisiana and in Georgia, two very competitive Senate races. That's a real challenge uh, for our understanding of what policy is going to look like. A midterm election is very different from a presidential election. And it's different for the senators and congressmen who are going to be up in 2016 compared to those who are up in 2014. Many predict a Republican Senate would make trying to repeal part or all of the Affordable Care Act one of their top priorities. Others have talked of trying to compromise on immigration to improve the party's image with Hispanic voters and their 2016 election prospects. It's going to be a larger electorate next time. It's going to be a more diverse and a younger electorate next time. And that means that some of the political calculations that people make have to change as well. It is hard to look forward and see what an agenda will be like for Senate Republicans. They are not speaking in a unified voice. There will be new senators in this new Congress who we just don't know yet, and we don't know what their interests are and where their loyalties lie. We'll just have to wait to see what happens if Republicans capture both houses of Congress. For BU News Service, from Washington, D.C., I'm John Riley.